So there is a ever growing, everlasting movement of people that have been red pilled. Um, now, at the end of the day, look, it's good. It really, really is. the The globalists are losing. the The establishment is losing its propaganda wars. They no longer can just go and bomb a country without people asking questions. It's a really, really good start. And now look, at the end of the day, we can't let off it off the gas. There is a long way to go, but it's definitely a good start. Now that said, I'm generally against musicians coming out and being political, but after the left have been doing it so much lately, I really can't complain when someone comes up and is against war. Now I'm not sure if he's left or right or a centrist or whatever this magician is, but he's definitely against the Syrian war. Yes, we have the video. We'll play that for you in a sec. And he's used his onstage performance or onstage position to basically denounce the White Helmets. So ex-Pink Floyd singer denounces White Helmets as propaganda tool during Barcelona concert. Now, the English singer Roger Walters is a member of Pink Floyd and now a solo performer, denounced the controversial Syrian group, the White Helmets, during a concert saying they exist only to create propaganda for jihadis and terrorists. The trial came from the Worlders on Friday during a gig in Barcelona, which took place as the US and the UK and France were preparing to attack against Syrian bases on reports provided by the White Helmets. A week before that, the group produced photos and footage of what they claimed to be the aftermath of a chemical weapons attack by the Syrian government on the town of Dogma near Damascus, which was held by an armed group called Army of Islam. Addressing the audience, Walters said someone had asked him from the stage to speak about Dogma, an alleged chemical attack. The singer said that person and he had very different opinions about the situation in Syria. Now, before we go on, I'd really like to know who this person is is that, that's asking him to speak about Syria. Was it just a stagehand? Or was it someone from the establishment? Someone who was going around to performers and asking them to actually speak? That, to me, is actually quite interesting, and I'd love to know the answer. Look, might be a little aluminium hat, I get that, but I'd really like to know who this other person is. Uh, now, we do have that video. We will play that for you right now. Seems even veteran rock musicians are weighing in too. The strikes against Syria have been condemned now by the former lead singer of Pink Floyd, Roger Waters, during a concert in Barcelona. If we were listening to the propaganda of the White Helmets and others, we would be encouraged to encourage our governments to go and start dropping bombs on people in Syria. <laughs> this would be a mistake of monumental proportions. Roger Waters hit out at the White Helmets group, calling it a fake organisation. He added that it exists, quote, only to create propaganda for jihadists and terrorists, end quote. The White Helmets were the first to report on the alleged chemical attack in eastern Ghouta. Although it's been widely praised in the West for its rescue work, its members have repeatedly been accused of having links to extremist groups. So, yeah, as you see, definitely an interesting video. Let's keep going with the article. The White Helmets is a fake organization that exists only to create propaganda for jihadis and terrorists. That is my belief. We have opposing beliefs, he explained, as seen in a video shot from the cheering crowd. And, and that's the thing. The crowd was loving this. They really were. Now, at the end of the day, obviously, there's going to be a bit, a bit of bias when it comes to the crowds. Obviously, they're going to go to see there to perform him sing or, or go there to see him perform. So they're going to be fans of his, so they're more likely to cheer, even if they don't necessarily agree. But, yeah, the crowd was really loving this, that's for sure. Walters explained why he didn't support the cause furthered by the White Helmets. Quote, if we were to listen to the propaganda of the White Helmets and others, we would be encouraged to encourage our governments to start dropping bombs on people in Syria. This would be a mistake of monumental proportions as for us human beings, he said. 
what we should do is go and persuade our governments not to go ahead and drop bombs on people. And certainly not until we have done all the research that is necessary so that we would have a clear idea of what is really going on, he added. Because we live in the world where propaganda seems to be more important than the reality of what is actually going on. And that's basically what most of the alternative media has been saying. Um, yeah, so, yeah, like I say, normally I'm against musicians getting up and performing and, and being PR for political, but the left have been doing it, so, you know, but let's keep going. Walters called on people to reach across boundaries and religions and nationalities and together make Earth a better place. The White Helmet's purpose is to be a civil defense organization operating in parts of Syria under the control of various armed groups, including hardcore Islamists, opposing the central government in Damascus. It receives funding from several Western nations, including the US and the UK. Which is interesting because both those groups were in with the strike, along with France. No uh, conflict of interest there, I presume. But anyway, moving along. The group has received widespread praise from the Western media and a documentary about it and even won an Academy Award. Yeah, that, that moment when you give an Academy Award to links to a terrorist group. On several occasions, White Helmets employees have been caught doing questionable things like assisting in public executions, staging fake rescue operations. Critics say the rescue operations are just a cover for their true purpose, producing photos and footage favorable to the opponents of Damascus and providing justification for military action against the Syrian government forces. People in the areas which were taken by the government from jihadists support such claims. That, that's the actual real big takeaway from that, is the fact that the, the locals that live in these areas that were overrun by these Syrian jihadis and whatnot, they actually support Assad. They actually support the Syrian army over the White Helmets. So, kind of makes you wonder why Assad is going through and using chemical weapons on the people that support him when he's winning a war against the jihadis, isn't it? It's a real interesting question. Also, you want to find out, too, if they blew up these chemical weapons depots like they're claiming, how is it that people are walking around the rubble sites and not been exposed to chemical weapons? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? So, what's the takeaway from all this? Look, to be honest, I'm generally against famous people being political. I would much prefer everybody to be apolitical. But that said, if the left are going to go through and use everybody they possibly can for political reasons, then at the end of the day, you can't expect a counter-argue to come up. So, if you've got a whole bunch of people like Johnny Depp going through and talking about assassinating the President of the United States of America, don't be surprised when you get people like Roseanne also piping up saying that they support Trump. You, you, it's too good to have it one way. If you're going to play by these rules, then at the end of the day, the right's going to play by them as well. Now, I'm not saying this singer here is right or anything like that. To me, he actually seems quite liberal. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's definitely interesting that he's gone through and he said such a thing. Look, whether he'll be in the car accident in the next month or so, who knows? But yeah, he might, yeah, he might get bumped off. I don't know. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you support him going through and saying stuff like this? Especially if you've gone through it in the past and gone on about people like Johnny Depp getting up and saying things. Do you still support this guy for saying stuff like that? Do you think it's a case of they do it so we can? Or, or do you think we should stick to our morality? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, guys, obviously this video has been helpful. Please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.